Hello Shanavas, good afternoon and good afternoon. Uh, welcome to Jitex 2017. Thank you. So, for so so Nicole, you know, after the big branding and all, how has the last 2-3 uh, days been for you? It's been great. Um, so, um, what is important for us in this event is to get the message out that we are independent. The Sonic World brand is back in business, right? So that's the strong message that we are giving to our customers and partners from across the region. So it's been a great two days, right? And look forward for the remaining days also to be exciting. Right. So you know, like uh, 27 itself as a year was you know branded as a year of transformation. Like people were talking about change, right? From your solutions to your customer approach, right? You know? So, so you know, like, what change have you as a brand brought to the security market? So, so being independent brings back that focus, right? So, uh, being focused again, you know, helps us bring those innovation, right? Uh, so, in the last um, last month, uh, like about two weeks ago, we in, we launched our six new products, uh, products and some feature enhancements. Uh, so, we launched our first multi gig firewall. Uh, we launched Wave 2 wireless and for the first time in Sonic Pulse history we introduced the outdoor wireless solutions. So we also launched our Cloud GMS which is a zero touch you know, solution to our customers. So it's all exciting, it's all happening and I think uh, from innovation point of view, the engineering is doing an amazing job. Our customers are showing a lot of excitement and interest in our new technologies. So you are talking specifically about the aspect of security, right? In in wake of all the crisis which uh, which happened of late, in spite of all the technologies being in place, in spite of all the awareness being in place, and like humans have been considered as the weakest uh, link in security, right? So you know, based on your experience, you know, what should be the top three things that an organization should take care of? So we we always see that uh, there has been a skill gap. Uh, right, so um, so SonicWall, uh, from its uh, uh, channel enablement point of view, we have also realized that we have looked at some statistics where it clearly talks about skill gaps in certain markets. Uh, so we have introduced something called SonicWall University, you know, in our partner portal, which is for now uh, uh, a solution for our partners. Sometime in future, we'll probably you know open it up for public as well. So SonicWall University itself has several uh, modules of training, right? And it is all of these modules are not just specific to the SonicWall product, right? Of course, a lot of them cover the products, but then there are many modules which talks about the the general security landscape, right? It talks about the threat landscape. It talks about the best practices. Um, it talks about you know what is new in terms of the threats in that specific year and then how are uh, the you know current solutions helping the customers mitigate those threats and so on. So these are really um, you know um, a must to have uh, say a module for our partners so that uh, at the end of the day we want to make sure that they are fully enabled, knowledgeable and they act as a trusted advisor to their customers. So you know that the, the theme of the show is all about you know reimagining a reality. Right? So so how is Sony called reimagining the concept of security, say for 2018? So yes, so we we have our uh, you know product roadmap. Uh, we have our vision, which is complying to you know what is changing in the coming days. Uh, so um, definitely, our mission and our mission is a uh, vision is to offer a comprehensive security, right? Um, a security which is uh, very dynamic to the threats that are coming tomorrow, right? To ensure that there are solutions in place which can help our customers protect from today's threats as well as what is unknown. Right? Uh, so even from those unknown threats point of view, um, we have the sandboxing technology where we are the first vendor to introduce a multi-engine sandboxing solution, right? has been accepted very well by the industry, by the customers, where, um, you know, any sophisticated threat, if it has an ability to evade one engine approach, with three engine, it makes it that much more difficult for any threat to evade, you know, three different vectors of protection, right? So from that perspective, I think Sonic Pulse platform of uh, capture, which is sandboxing, is not just specific to firewalls, but it can be applied on email, protection, it can be applied on secure mobile access protection and so on, right. So we have really, you know, um, geared up to ensure that any future possible threats we combat 
you know, using our threat uh, uh, capture threat lab as, as well as capture solution. And as far as your partner programs are concerned, like, uh, are there going to be any changes or revamp in your existing partner programs? So, so as soon as we exited from Dell, um, Sonic World knew that, you know, our, our foundation is based on hundreds of partners, thousands of partners, right? So from day one, we introduced our own partner program called Secure First Part Partner Program. So we transitioned close to about 11,000 partners, you know, on day one, right? And then we continued to roll out this partner program to the rest of the market. And as we speak today, there are 18,000 partners in our database, right? Uh, and, and from that, close to about 5,000 partners are net new partners, right? So this in itself is, is um, uh, you know, a strong message to our partners that we are a 100% channel company and we continue to invest in our partners and a program like this uh, really excites our partners to be connected to us. Right. Yeah. And so, you know, from Ashanava's point of view, like what would be your top three priorities, you know, to position your company for 2018 in this market? So, we, we continue to invest in terms of uh, enabling our partners because that has been our forte. Uh, we believe in uh, enablement, we believe in a strong partnership, uh, a meaningful partnership, you know, with every every partner that we engage with. So, enabling partners has been one of the, you know, key area of our focus. Um, we continue to take new uh, innovations to our partners so that we bring new revenue opportunities for them, right? And we have seen in the Sonic World history that our partners always look forward for what are those new revenue opportunities, right? So that way we keep them excited. So new product innovation is perhaps, uh, you know, the, the second area. Um, the third area of focus for us in the coming year would be to bring uniformity in terms of our go-to-market, right? So, so from that 50 plus countries that fall under my territory, um, you know, we don't want to end up in a year where only about six to ten countries are performing and then we have not done a good job in the remaining countries, right? So we want to get into, um, say, newer markets uh, like Africa, for example. So uh, we have gone there in the beginning of this year and uh, I believe that we are doing everything that is needed uh, based on what we hear from our partners and customers. Uh, in terms of what is required to create that, uh, you know, awareness, uh, visibility, and also ensure that our partners are fully enabled. So maybe these are, you know, the top three areas that we are you know, presently uh, focusing on, and we'll continue to focus on this. Plus, we'll look at, you know, some new areas of focus as well. Thank you, Shanavas. Thank you so Thank you. much for being with us. We wish you all the best.